I read this book. Uh, I think it's called gut if I'm not mistaken. And it's this, uh, great doctor. Name. It's, it's, I know it sounds a little scary. No, but, I like it. Uh, I like it. it. It's her. And it, it's really well-written and you'll laugh. Like it's funny, but she, uh, is some kind of, you know, uh, GI doctor expert. I don't know what you would call it. Um, but she talks about, she runs through all of what happens to our body the minute we have a piece of food in front of us. And it starts with, um, you know, your, your sensory wow. faculties of your nose. Yeah. And then all these really crazy things happen in your mouth where um, certain saliva starts firing up to induce uh, enzymes that'll break down your food. And then yeah. it's like trash cans of like, this is where we put the stuff we don't want. This is where we put the good stuff. And it's like happening instantly in your mouth. Wow. And there's like, I mean, it's, it's great. Like on these like microscopic levels. No. And like, you know what? I never finished it. And I should finish that book because it's really fascinating. Um, We're, we're amazing machines. What we do. We really are, you know, Mm -hmm. and at the same time, like not, you know, it's like crazy. We're such a weird people, you know, like some things you you think this is not the best way it should be. There's other things you just, I'm blown away by our bodies and what they can do. Me too. that's an yeah. amazing process. Uh, wow. Yeah. That's fascinating. Yeah. No, I, I think um, the more I learn about my body, the more I feel amazing, <laughs> you know, because <laughs> you're, you're right. We are fascinating and uh, we're capable of so much. Uh, and we don't, a lot of us don't realize that, you know, that's a great point. That's a absolutely a great point. I don't think, you, mm-hmm. you know, as you get older, right. When you're younger, you don't care about your body. It's young. It's you but you're bruising you ju- i remember i used to jump out of trees when i was a kid yeah, for no reason too. it's like stupid I like yeah i was like yeah. why did i do- i would literally outdoor just kid. hit the branches <laughs> yeah outdoor kid you know the old days right yeah, yeah. And, and like as you get older that's yeah that's why you it your body matters more because things start to you notice mm-hmm. it more you're more aware of it yeah. oh, d- damn i didn't what the hell this isn't the same yeah. anymore right and so you start to care about it more and put more into it and then you're amazed by it and then now you want to take care of it all of a sudden. Right. You know? Yeah. Right. Like it could be yeah. too late, you know? Oof. Well, I think too, yeah. like, sooner we the better. also have a lot of like limitations put on us by our own uh, misunderstanding too. You know, like I actually have been reading this book called healing back pain, which is about the mind body connection of like our emotions to our physical pain and like how there's a direct correlation and uh, like, you know, 80% of the time, it's like the, the, you know, calls are coming from inside the house, you know, yeah. <laughs> and so, you, like, you know, <laughs> and, um, <laughs> so, oh, shit, oh, shit, you know, I got him, <laughs> but, but yeah, mm. I mean, I, I, I try to, like, sift through that a lot in my everyday life of just, like, what am I, creating what am i fixating on that like i could just like be so much better without that thought um you know yeah it's i especially when i'm i'm really trying to navigate through the media and the social media and that aspect of how our brains are being restructured i mean it's like we're up against a lot <laughs> yes we're up against everything the, the yeah. internet is everything, right? It's like you're literally mm-hmm. up against everything every day, you know, mm-hmm. essentially, digitally, you know, in, in mm-hmm. some way. Uh, yeah, you're right. That's a lot. It, I read that that's kind of, you know, this new album, like it sort of touches on that, like, you know, picking what you care about most, right? Like, and mm-hmm. focusing on that and bring, bringing your energy towards that, right? And not mm-hmm. wasting your time on things that, are going to just add to the negativity, which is just exponential, right? That stuff just adds up and can become too much to handle at some point. Right. Yeah. It's kind of like hoarding, you know, it just like piles up and then it it gets really hard to move around. You can't, it gets really hard to exist anywhere. You know, when you have, you're carrying too much shit around or you have it in your house. Um, and yeah, I, you know, it's, it, there's a bunch of different, metaphorical references to the the title yard sale of yeah of the you know the record's called yard sale um there there's that um there's that 
I kind of feel like there's something for everyone. Like you would find at a yard sale. There's just like, oh, here's a, you know, a desk lamp and a racket <laughs> ball racket. And, you know, like, and like, you know, someone could be like, oh my totally. God, I've, I've been looking for that uh, crock pot my whole life. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, shit, shit I don't you know. didn't know you need that you know right. you need. Right. Like, right. So I, I kind of feel like there's, you know, it's like there's a real um, hodgepodge, I guess, in that way. And then also, you know, that term, like if a lady drops her purse and it dumps out and someone goes yard sale, it kind of feels like I just like dumped out a purse of emotions and it's like, ah! <laughs> So uh, yeah, take take whichever one works best. 